No, there was some really nice venues. Um, Edinburgh was very nice, and the actual venue itself was very yeah, nice. Yeah, it looked amazing. Which was really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, massive. Minus some bad wings to come on from stage, but that didn't really Manchester matter. Manchester was a good one. Manchester cool. was wow, fun. Yeah. It was, we had a, a large people, amount of people there Should as have well. come to that one. That, that was yeah. a, yeah. Um, yeah. Good venue as well. Should have. The Lowry, yeah. Yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ironically, yeah. the Stoke was, Stoke was yeah, the worst <laughs> one. Yeah, but hey, crap in it. Yeah, it really was. For the but hotel. then, uh, yeah, like you, the annoying thing is that, um, like I said, you went on the radio the morning of. Why didn't you ask? They ask you the mm. week before. Yeah, and build up to it. So, yeah, anyway, it's very true. Worth anyway, it. yeah, <laughs> still, <laughs> it's, it's done. Was. But it's no, it was done. good. Good to be dancing. We are good. back with Money Talks. This is actually episode 13. Kurt, you got your seat very high is today. It? Oh, I do actually. You're right. really like a giraffe. What's happening? Episode 13 on the week of Halloween. Oh. Episode 13 on the week Isn't of Halloween. It? Yeah. Shame it's not yeah, Friday yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. Why are you so low? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I have messed up here. <laughs> yeah, taking my mic out now. There you go. Welcome to Money Talks. All opinions expressed by Wes Wilkes, AJ and Curtis Pritchard, and any guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of iMarket Wealth or Fit. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only and should not be relied upon for any investment decisions. This is not financial advice. Let's talk about this. We have to match AJ's height, you see. It's, uh... No, it's just. I've got, I've, see, I've got a bit of quiff management. Yeah. Like AJ. Yeah. And quiff. fridge. And a booster seat is that yeah, like. Yeah, adds, adds a couple of inches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I feel like at this time of the year right now, there's usually a topic of conversation would be one thing, but right now there is only, well, I was going to say one topic of conversation, but there's, there's two. Yeah. There's a lot, but two big ones. Obviously, mm. budget, UK, mm-hmm. Labour. And on the exact mm. other hand, you've kind of got America, election, yeah. What's going to happen? How's that going to impact everybody? So I don't really know where to start here, to be honest. So That's do you want to... Let's jump straight into let, some elections. Let's start off, actually, you know, with the markets right now okay, in 2024, now. because therefore that's, that's kind of... Leads us up to it. Leads us up yeah, to it and see sense. what could happen. And at this time of year, we've now, we are going into what is like the end of the year already, it feels like. Seems yeah, like I feel like Christmas has already hit us. Close. Halloween hasn't yeah, even gone yet, yeah, and every single yeah. shop has got Christmas stuff in it. And it's your birthday next Friday week, AJ. Christ. And it is my Halloween birthday. Halloween hasn't even started. Quick, quick shout <laughs> out yeah. there. Yeah, technically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, so I, I think markets-wise, obviously up to, we're kind of, where are we now? Late October. Yes. yes. So Halloween's kind of this week. Um, it's and been, video's still soaring. It's been an incredible year, <laughs> bottom line, yeah. um, from a market perspective, and pretty much globally. Yeah. Um, US kind of leading the way. I know we've had Mag 7 conversations before, but it's been an incredible But even if you take into consideration, like, as you've said, the Mag 7 dominating Mm. up to this point, but now if you you look to their results right now, they're actually not that good, but then the other stocks have held it up. Well, it's a big week this week for um, most of them report this week. We know Mm. NVIDIA is always really late in the quarter. That'll be kind of some kind of December. Um, sometime in December, but yeah, it's it's, it's a, a mass week. In fact, on that point, I'll ask you this question. I'll test you. <laughs> Turn my screen. So yeah. um, Where, where's the reflection? If I was there? to ask you, <laughs> no, <that's not>. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, uh, if you were, if I was to ask you what the top ten, you'd have to give me the top ten. Top three is fine. Uh, best performing S and P five hundred stocks, so U S stocks year in twenty twenty four year to date. What would you say? Nvidia. Okay. At the top. Down. Okay. Oh, I feel like I was going to catch it. I, 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 I want to say Meta started to now do well. Okay. Yeah. Outside of that, the tech side. I'll put you out of your misery. Apple's still Apple. technically at the top, okay. but they're sort of plateaued. Size-wise, they are. But in terms of performance in 2024, I'll read the top 10 list. Has BYD Vist- done good as well? Uh, but then I don't think they're, they're not in this. They're not in there, are they? Vistra? Yep. NVIDIA. Yep. Palantir. Okay. Constellation Energy. Vanova, Targa, Howmet, Iron Mountain, United Airlines, and General Electric. Oh, United Airlines. So th- things that, a couple of things that And that's, that's on me. pure percentage. That is percentage year performance today. year to date. Yeah. Amazing, really. Because again, we, people is. will still try and um, have this uh, conversation around the MAG 7. It's led by a small amount of stocks. They dominate in terms of size, yeah. but it just shows over the year what's actually happened. And like, yeah, 
NVIDIA as actually second year to date, but you'd, you'd call that. But the rest are, a whole, there's a whole range. Obviously, Palantir is kind of network and uh, in and around tech. But, you know, we know what Iron Mountain is. We know what United Airlines are and General Electric. Mm. GE, it's incredible. Uh, it just is, shows yeah. actually, it's really positive for me because it shows how broad uh, the year has been in terms of performance. So, yes, we're in earnings season now and, and you know, if, if the big tech companies the big don't do not do as well as we expect, yes, it will impact markets and impact our fin portfolios. But um, ultimately, that shows how broad actually this year has been and it's spread out quite a bit. And actually, that's really healthy. It shows a healthy market. And we like broad. It's really positive. Fin, we, do. We, well. we do. Yes, we do. We yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Broad diversification. And yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's a, I think it's a sign of, a, of course, a healthy market. I think what's clear there is like across all sectors. Yeah, exactly. Which shows That's that people are spending thing, yeah. money in all sectors. Mm -hmm. Do you think that'll be similar next year? I know we can't predict the future and stuff, but do you think it'll be similar how how life is going and the world's going? Do you think it'll be sort yeah, of similar, I mean, I, I, we, ones we, which are growing? I suppose we're going to come on to a couple of headwind, headwinds that are going to impact markets kind of in the short mm. term. But, it, you know, from the data we're seeing and where we're positioned and what how things look, it does look like, you know, a broad market kind of... Um, a good good market conditions in, yeah. in a more broad basis and that that kind of um breadth as we'd say which which we, we do think is good we're just talking about the sp500 there but obviously that's now moving um to the regions and geographies so yeah you know that's what we'd like to see is more broadening out into kind of other like emerging markets yes, yeah. and other and, and the uk and, and so then with areas. the fin portfolios you kind of say as like mm. the tide lifts all is that that same sort of mentality for us? Because our portfolios have been doing very, yeah, very they've done well. amazingly well. Yeah, yeah. Super, super chuffed. But uh, uh, yeah, and I think that broad diversification has helped. Yeah, massively. So, like, if the twenty, uh, I don't know the exact numbers, but for example, if the S and P five hundred is up twenty four percent year to date, fantastic. Um, doesn't necessarily mean you want to have all your money in the S and P five hundred yeah. because you know the the drawdowns are are huge as well. Yeah, but it, you know, if we could, if we can have a broadly diversified portfolio that up on the higher risk scale, for say, um, has done kind of 14% year to date, but without the volatility mm -hmm. of one one market with broad diversification, that's fantastic. Yeah. We're really chuffed with that. And we've got that broad diversification geography-wise and sector-wise within the portfolio. So it's been, a, it's been a really, really good year. And actually, we're currently in October, which historically is the worst month mm. of the year. And what tends to happen next, to answer your question again, is that from November onwards for a three month, four month period tends to be seasonally uh, a, a really good time for, for, for stock markets and investing. And we just have, but the proviso well, to that is we have lots time. of events coming in, <laughs> yeah. um, which may be good or positive, uh, good or bad for it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I do it's really wonder times. how uh, the next couple of months are going to go uh, with the whole world that we're living in. Absolutely. I Absolutely. think, I don't know what we should come on to next, you being US election or UK budget. What, what do you want to hit? Just Which one do you want to hit? we're actually on the market, so to be yeah. fair, um, did you hear that uh, Elon Musk has now announced that all of his um, original Teslas uh, won't be valid for fully self-driving mode? Well, why would they? Well, because he's always... None of them have LiDAR in. No, but th what he said is, always, all of his cars will yep. be able to be Fully it was always an option that to buy. That was it. his biggest yeah, selling yeah. point, and people have bought them with the capability of full self-driving. Except they for, don't have lidar. Well, they don't. So you have can't the, register the round. So, like Lotus's new cars, you can buy them with lidar. So, therefore, when there's the opportunity to change, they have it already on. implemented yeah. into the cars. Well, yeah. this is the thing. So, it, the new ones have better cameras and better powertrain. So that's what they're saying. There's he's always um, he's always said he would guarantee that they would add whatever they needed at the time. But the the, the funny thing is, is it possible though? This is well, the when thing. when Was when because uh, you know we, we 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 had one. Oh, is it seven years ago now? Yeah, we, we, the and, and Model X. Yeah, the Model X. Yeah, um, and I remember distinctly remember the options. Mm -hmm. So, kind of options you could have the um, uh, I forget the one under. You could have full self driving. You could choose it as an option and pay a lot of money for it. Yeah, which obviously is not it's not available now. Seven yeah. years later, it definitely yeah. wasn't available then. I can never get my red head around why somebody would buy that then. Would okay. you not just add it later? Doesn't make well, any sense. Sort of I quite like muscle, driving yeah. the car. I, I quite like adaptive cruise control. Yeah, yeah. Well, Simple, does we, job. We all know it works. We have the... the, the outside that, I don't Underneath trust. that, so like it changes lanes for you and all that kind yeah, of stuff. It's yeah. absolutely okay, amazing. Even that's a lot and that's Mind-blowingly cool. amazing. 
but like I ne- never understood why you would add full self-driving at that point until it becomes available which again is still 20 years away I think Miles away. no I, no because like when you take Waymo they are actually driving around San Francisco San Francisco yeah, yeah and they are, they are yeah, yeah. yeah causing massive traffic jams because <laughs> yeah. nobody lets yep. them in but <laughs> yeah they are Technically, sure, but that's ten. I think that's ten years to expand in the US at least. Yeah. yeah. Then another ten years globally. So do you think this is bad for at, the Tesla at least. stock? Then they will not like our little British roads. Are they going to lose a lot of money? Do you think if all of a sudden all of these people that have bought this fully drive, mm. fully self driving mode, now has to either be given new cars because the old cars can't. Mm. Function with it. I don't think it's or, a problem. I don't no, think it's a problem. No. It's all about the te- Tesla. Seems to you know the Tesla story is more a tech story than a car story. Anyway, yeah, it yeah. has been, and obviously we know the stocks had a horrific time until the last few weeks at Natural Results, and it's shot. And it is still um, up today. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's shot, shot up quite a bit. But a lot of that was based on uh, what he said about um, being able to deliver on inventory, delivering yeah. new cars, yeah. and prospects for profit next year. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's less about what's happened and more about what he's predicting for the future yeah. if that doesn't turn out then it'll plummet again <laughs> yeah, yeah but that's, I, that's the nature but of the stock i guess do you you may disagree you may not i feel like certain stocks and have different reasons for trading up and down and i think him him himself yep is such a big part of the stock whether that be yeah he is yeah Tesla's doing well, or SpaceX is doing well, or yeah, whatever yeah. other companies is involved with. And the fact people, they the rocket, unbelievable. But yeah. people trade off him more than maybe of what the statistics I think of it's the a stock huge are doing. Part of it, and yeah. you've yeah, kind of got yeah, this kind of. Yeah. I don't want you maybe use the word, but there's like a cult following that's like, yeah. I'm going to back that. There's because a, you, I think there's right. something that could come from it in ten years' time. So we talk about, and again, we spoke about it last time. We we're on one of these. We we're talking about trade, the difference between trading and investing. Yeah. Tesla is a classic trading stock. People yeah. love having it on a trading app and messing with it. Yeah, yeah. Not really knowing why or what's moving and why it's moving a certain way. Uh, I mean, the, the, I guess the moves in the last week or so are more fundamental based on actual Do you think that's because calls? he's very open in what he says, like on X and this and that, so they can go, oh, he said something dodgy, which could affect something that we can trade. We can, we, Do you think he doesn't know what will happen on the back of what he says? Oh, he knows exactly what's going to happen. I mean, okay, okay. Sure. Okay. there's points in the last three years when he's manipulated market. <laughs> he I, I'm, I'm, okay, I agree accuse him of that. But, he's got a lot more money than me. <laughs> but the, t- the recent that. two tweets yeah. that he just did yeah. actually stopped the launch of his rocket out of California mm. because yeah. oh they the beach yeah 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 <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how but that because she actually wrote on her Twitter and was proud of it like it was her job to stop it from happening because of his political views like that's gone that's like a step that's too far too far I mean the whole yeah we sh- don't want sheds on the beach I understand that you want to protect your coastline yeah, yeah, but this yeah. is out of a military well, base yeah we, pro- we probably shouldn't get into the whole kind of Elon and is, as an individual and politics no and there's good there's, there's bad, too there's much there's def- 100% too much influence I, I would say uh, but but interesting you're right because it does um, people do trade on based on Elon yeah. and we know that SpaceX will be we know that SpaceX will IPO in te- the new exchange in Texas because that's he's yeah. already said that um, and we know that that will launch that that exchange and we know that it'll do phenomenally well um because of what it's what it's doing, uh, but also that when he bought X, it affected Tesla stock. Yeah. So he did, it, you know, what yeah. he's doing as a as a um, individual. Yeah. I mean, as he could have entrepreneur or bond villain, as some call him, whichever way you want to say. <laughs> um, he does. He does impact what the, the what, whatever company he owns in that respect for sure. I can't see him as a bond villain. No, he's, he's a little bit. He's no villain. <laughs> he's a little bit, you know. In certain ways, yeah, but we're yes, get into that. yeah, yeah. Like if you look at the, it the wouldn't traits take much for him to yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. The traits, the influence, the control. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's and it's quite an interesting one. Yeah, and he, you know, he, he, over the last few years, he controlled the price of Bitcoin. Sometimes, mm. if you could buy one of his cars with Bitcoin, Bitcoin went up, and he yeah, tweeted it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And of, the same with his meme coins. Yeah, one but of the that's problems. A whole another conversation. One of the problems with those things, you know, if somebody can if somebody can take to their own platform now, X that they own and tweet something that then impacts the price of something, do you want to own that thing? Unless you have any idea when he's going to do that, I would probably guess not. Or be aware of it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of influence. There's a lot of power. It's too much. 
Yeah. Uh, he's a clever yeah. man. <laughs> what can I say? Listen, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah. like he wants to get, I think, a million people on, what is it, Mars by 2045, was it, or 2050 or something? That's what he's saying. I haven't read into any of that. And no, yeah, I, 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 yeah. quite, I quite like Earth. It's quite pretty here, so I'm, <laughs> kind of, I'm quite happy staying yeah. here. It's not full yet. At the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Think? at the yeah. moment, it's pretty and nice. Mm. That's, uh, that's his Hey, if you look at the birth yeah. rates, technically we'll be better off in 20 years' time. Right, because they're reducing. Yeah, because there's less less people. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, some people say it's, there is inflation in, in births, though. There are more and more coming. I, I remember reading a story on Elon Musk. and he, Inflation in births? Well, what there's more about? birth. There's, <laughs> the the, the birth rate about? is increasing. Right. Birth, yeah. Hang on a minute. Births cause inflation. <laughs> yeah. Birth pop, rate is actually so decreasing vi- because more people want to get to a better financial position in their lives. Mm. So therefore, they're holding off on certain things like getting married, having kids. They want to travel. They want to explore. If you look at like... China and and definitely the Europe European market. Like, that is deflationary if there's less yeah. children, less children. Yes, that's it's right. going down. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's not a conversation that we need to talk <laughs> about. But Kirk can keep googling as you can probably hear him typing away. Um, U.S. election then, obviously. Yes. Yep. It's so diverse in the aspect of who you get your information from, who's winning. Yeah, which way yeah. Is it going? Part, part, part of the similar challenge, what we've been talking about, media outlets. You yeah, know, X is a massive media outlet, whether you like it or dislike it, and you know you can call it a cesspit. But there's a lot. So of the stuff people on that I listen to and and talk about, it's kind of like, okay, he's gonna win. Yeah. Yep. Trump. Yeah, Trump's gonna win, and then other things you look at you're like oh no it's like 50 50 neck neck mm, yeah. and it, it's, it's crazy to see how something so widely talked about widely spread there's so much different information and well, people are so honest about it i saw something the other day that said uh from a fairly reliable source that said there's 96 percent chance of trump winning well that doesn't mean he's got 90 percent 96 percent chance uh, share of the vote yeah. but because of the way the votes uh happen in america with the collegiate collegiate system is that right yeah it isn't it yeah um the because of the way that the, the voting sh- in america is votes, crazy yeah it's hard. and then did you so, see that they were trying to get it so so legally you don't have to take your id to vote i didn't read that so no, within certain states this, which just means you, you legally vote, you don't need to bring real. an id to vote which is what so you, you can turn up in 2020 wasn't it and then yeah, yeah just yeah. vote and yeah that is mind-boggling yeah. to me that's crazy. What the hell? Anybody can then vote. That just, it's, it's, I don't believe that. It's, but in certain states, yeah, yeah, you don't need ID to vote. They must have something. See, I haven't, I, I, and I've that's the, that's the argument against certain states that mm. they're being sued internally by, like, it doesn't make yeah, sense. It was, it was, uh, that was part of the problem that Trump had, wasn't it, in 2020, and why he kind of, what he did after was horrific, obviously, but, like, why he had a problem with yes. the, the result. Um, but yeah, they were saying he's got ninety six percent chance of winning because of the way the system set and his yeah. slight his slight advantage, like fifty one, fifty two versus forty eight or whatever it is, yeah. means that that's kind of where yeah. it sits. And that's the way of using statistics in a it's very clever, different way. Yeah, it's super clever. It is a, yeah, super clever. Uh, Nevada Harris is uh, winning just by below one point. North Carolina Trump just below one point. Yeah, but what does one point mean? I don't one even know what that even means. Sense, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also. Yeah. It's an interesting point, and it does lead into investing, actually, so I'll make a tenuous link. Yes. Um, <laughs> that, like, a lot of these are, uh, are polls, so they're opinions, aren't they, based yes. on a certain time. So it's somebody giving you an answer. And, you know, a lot of these, and, and it actually still happens with some of the polls that analysts and economists use to project forward, are phone calls. Yes. So in the U.S. in particular, they, you know, they, these, these companies still ring people to find out their opinion on something. It's crazy. How many people still have a landline? And Not how many. many. Would, how many people would continue that conversation? Yeah, exactly. As soon yeah. as I, yeah. if someone's told me like that, that down. So therefore, like if you think about it, you, you would feel, you know, if you imagine that this is the population and then you think, right, how many have you got a phone? Probably not that many. How many are answering the questions? Not that many. If they're answering yeah. the questions, how many are honest? Probably not that many. Um, all of a sudden you're thinking, what kind of data sample is that? So the reality is nobody knows because ultimately yeah. the data sample is so open to manipulation. If, if, if I was going to honestly trust that data sample, I'd prefer to go on or on Twitter and just see who's got more likes. So at least I know then that's somebody actively reading it <laughs> yeah. and clicking like. Yeah. And at least I know that statistically that person is, has an opinion. They've taken a initiative to actually move their finger and click on it. Do you know what the beauty of that is as well? In terms of their, their clicking or the retweeting or the liking is anonymity. 
Yes. They know that if they are liking that, they would, that's probably their honest opinion. Yeah, because, because their name is attached knows to it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If we go back from 2020, yeah. 2016, 2012, we've got a little graph here, which is quite cool. It shows you from all of the polls how they react, polls, how they're reacting right now. In 2020, it is a landslide for Trump to win. If we go on how they were reacting in 2016, again, a landslide for Trump to win. 2012, it's a landslide for Harris to win. So that's... Uh, I don't know what that's telling me, Kurt. So it's saying how the polls are right now and how all of the percentages are, for example. So where the polls are now, assuming that we're in the environment of those different years. Yes. Yeah. 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 In terms of what, like... But where, in what, how, how, what numbers, what, like... Yeah, so where the parties... Like, is, all I'm seeing is pretty yeah. slides. And this is mm. what I'm saying... Pretty pushing from, it. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, okay. pretty is pushing it there. Statistical yeah. slides. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the thing, like the information, it's like if you know when you ask for a study, like you say, mm. tell yeah. me how many people did the study, yeah. where was the information from, what age like give me real information. Yeah, absolutely. Because you can't judge it's, it's, this it, but you know, it, it's difficult to get a lot, of, a lot of what um investment That's um, off seventy different polls then graphs are. Investment thesis yeah, and, and again it's opinion. But investment yes, a lot yeah. of investment thesis and economist work is based on uh, indexes. Uh, like purchase managing an index and a lot yeah, that is genuinely how people feel so how a group of manufacturers or business owners feel okay at a so time. so you're a business owner you're a manufacturer you're a whatever you're a fund manager like yourself like you're waiting for this decision it's what's when this goes out seven days away eight yep. days away do you wait to find out what's going to happen and then make a decision or do you be Cautious and is being cautious actually waiting? Like, what so do really, you do in this market yeah, right now? Absolutely, super question. That. Because most people, from what I hear, it's positive for the stock market and for America and everything yeah. if so, Trump gets in. So I haven't yeah. heard one positive regarding yeah. the industry of investing that's positive if she gets in. And what and where people will get a lot of that from, um, and they'll build a will, they'll build a, uh, a rationale around it, but they'll be using what happened in 2016. Yes. Right? Because of what happened in 2016, Trump got in power and it was amazing for the stock market. So yeah. a lot of people in that sector will be using that. But it's 2024, not 2016. Times yeah. are different. You know, times are different. Interest rates are different. Inflation's been different. There's war all over the place. The world is now less globalized than it was in 2016. Arguably, as a result, people like Trump and, you know, look in Europe, we've got um, extremists to a degree um, getting, get, getting in power. So I think it's, I think it's impossible to really try and predict what you think is going to be happen this year based on 2016, yeah. which is what a lot of people are trying to do. Um, so I think, I mean, you might have heard my conversation this morning. I was on the phone to Alan, who's on our investment committee, and we're just talking about a few things. And, and we, you can, we can talk around subjects for probably two or three hours and various implications on various assets because of various outcomes of what might happen. The reality is, until what happens happens, nobody actually knows. And actually, do you want to make decisions now on an outcome that you're not certain on? It's very difficult. It's very difficult. And so I think not to. <laughs> yeah. So often the conclusion is, and we, we you know we fire around invest, investment committees with thoughts on this, and often the most difficult thing, but most often the right thing, is actually not to do anything, is to wait it out. Yeah. And see what happens. The you know the the various implications are you know you would assume if Trump gets into power, good for business, lower taxes, lower uh, interest, lower rate interest rates, assume. you would assume. Um, and, and but on the, the, the other side of that, uh, tariffs for overseas, for overseas uh, companies, um, more uh, abrasive kind of or aggressive policy toward uh, uh, foreign policy will be, will be more difficult, but a more localized thing for the US. You would assume those, th those kind of things. And arguably, to a degree, the reverse. If uh, if the other side get in, um, and maybe if he gets in, like what is openly said, like war is bad for for everybody. But then I've actually seen there are stats, and if you look at kind of like uh, we're talking, just been talking about the stock market this year, been pretty good, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, more Biden's the president, mm. not, not Trump. Very true. So who's good for Marx? Who's bad for Marx? And the reality is that there are stats out there. I've got, I've got a chart on it. Um, it frankly doesn't matter. Yeah. You have good, bad, indifferent, no matter who's in charge. The fact is, you know, wait until the, the situation 
goes don't necessarily you can't react or or preempt that kind of I think, thing. I think a better study that I would love to do personally, rather than like who you're going to vote for, what you're going to mm. do, is purely a study if you were able to speak to people and say like, how are you feeling? Like, are you happy to go spend money? Are you not happy to go spend money? Do you so feel that happens. like you're getting yeah. a fair trust? Yeah, like yeah. them mm. sorts of studies for the purpose of the stock market yeah. is more valuable yeah, than like, yeah. unfortunately, who's in power or... It's a good observation. How's that yeah, we, we do because a, it doesn't matter if someone's no, it's, time. It's, I'm happy, or I'm sad. I'm, I'm spending, or I'm not spending. It's a really good observation, and we, we would turn that sentiment. And there's a lot of um, sentiment-based work that our analysts do that we then use in our decision making. Because I feel and like it's a very, very good, very good point. In the UK, we're right now. We're coming up to a budget, and every piece of press and media that's being fired out of us is everything seems to be like negative it's going to be bad yeah, it's going it to is. Yeah. It's, we're going yeah. to take your money we're going to do this like there's not one positive that was segue like a pro by the way <laughs> <laughs> you should do this more often there's, there's like there's right. not one positive bit no it, it is all negative and I th- but i think it's all negative arguably from the standpoint you're able to come from right and i think like if you're maybe uh, it's hard because um i guess from you know we're in this position that we uh, we're pretty balanced people, and, and, and mm. you know, kind of, we're not um, jumping left, jumping right. We're pretty balanced in terms yeah. of our views about things, right? And pretty reasonable and fair. Yeah. Uh, we, and we want a fair side, and we're trying to democratize investing, so we must be kind of fair. Um, but I think from still being from that position we're in, it f- seems very clear that they're looking to attack wealth, frankly. They want to fill this black hole that they've said is a problem. And the way they see of doing it is if you've got wealth, then that's where it's going to come from. Defining wealth is in monetary terms is something different. So assets, you know, is that property assets, investment assets, pensions, and there's a whole plethora of things that, that they, they look into to do. Capital gains tax seems a, a sure thing to, to rise um, and ver- various others. But I think if you're coming from another standpoint, maybe you're, you know, in a, in a poorer environment where, you know, assets aren't something you think about. You rent, yeah. you, you're living day to day. day to day. You're living day to day. Um, do you have a different view? And is your, is your view then all, all negative? Um, I guess it's a difficult one because you would still be then thinking, right, they're going to try and help the working man, which is what kind of they said. And obviously the problem with saying something like that is define the working man. Mm-hmm. I think it's really kind of interesting what you just hit the point on when they say what, what do you class as wealthy regarding like okay I'm a politician I'm paid what do they get paid now nearly or nearly 100, 100 grand, grand a year. yeah just yeah. yeah yeah is that being like well that's a very nice living in some areas yeah, that's is a very, very very good living, living. Yeah. yeah and in other aspects of the world that's not a lot of money no correct. but to most people in the UK that's a lot of money that's a huge amount of money that's yeah. a huge Especially amount of money average is only 29,000 yeah. so the majority of the UK I'm saying. that is a colossal so therefore nice when yeah. all the information is coming out it's like we're going to attack your wealth we're going to attack whatever yeah. money's coming in or yeah. money you've maybe got whether that be through no fault of your own because yeah. you've, your property's increased in value yeah, because yeah. you bought it yeah. 50 years yeah. ago yeah yeah absolutely that's a great like, show the sad thing is the person that's worked so hard that yeah. suddenly happens to be in a better position because mm-hmm. their property's gone up in value over 50 years suddenly they feel like they're getting screwed yeah, over and that person is not classed as wealthy because they've been on a very low salary the whole of their yeah. life mm-hmm. but they just happen to have bought a house at the right time yeah. and saved their money because mm-hmm. they because they worry like the new generation doesn't save money in the mentality that's what we're trying to change with Fint mm-hmm. but the old generation was like well actually no I'm going to save because I don't know what's going to happen if you need something I'll year. save for it yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. So people that have actually got assets and also, no fault of their own are going to be taken. The, yeah, the, big, the biggest asset, and this is where the real concern and pensions, about like, pensions comes. The, yeah. like, mm. the biggest asset outside of a main residence that people have is their pension. And as you rightly point out, a lot of uh, pensions and, and, and large pensions and um, individuals' pensions are built um, almost automatically from just from working hard having yeah. a good job might be you know uh, working in the public sector not necessarily the private sector or the private sector too and they've just built up because they've been working hard and they've got a really nice asset now and all of a sudden at the time they <laughs> now want to do something with it you know this is, what is it going to get attacked you've worked all your life you've not you've not made like hundreds of thousands each year mm. it's yeah, a low yeah, wage yeah you've built you've up your asset it. with a good pension because yeah. you've worked yeah. in yeah the public sector yeah and now we're going to take it from you but yeah. you are the person that's voted labor like it, we had this kind of conversation the other day it was like 
we were, we're doing all the shows in different areas. Most of the audience, I don't want to presume, but I would presume would have voted <laughs> more Labour. I know it's a double negative there, <laughs> but I don't think they would vote Labour right now. Mm, yeah. If, they, ha- if no, they had a second no, no, option, no. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it'd be going it's an that way. One. And I think... I think from a from a policy perspective, I guess like if, if you were them, you've just got into power after yeah. a long time out of power, right? Um, and you know you've got a five-year term because mm-hmm. you've just gone into power with it and you've got a really decent majority. Yeah. If you were going to do some stuff, you'd probably do it now. Oh, yeah. You'd front yeah. load this, wouldn't you? Because then you'd like to think you've got five years to win people back if you're going to really, really, really... Well, coming back to numbers of what you said about, you know, before about the 96% or whatever. Yeah. When you talk about this massive black hole that's being filled, what is the spend in each year? Isn't it, isn't it over a trillion in the UK or something stupid? I'm not sure the numbers, but it's, it's a lot. Yeah. So therefore, a couple it's of... It's basically our GDP. But a couple it? of billion... Yeah. It's yeah. only like one or two percent. Yeah, in, yeah. If yeah. you really break down it all, well, that's the point. I think is like that, what they're trying to look at is where they can raise these because I know funds from from lots points. of people in London that are in very fortunate positions. They've all left the country. Yeah, one point. Then they they they're not going to be paying tax now or any contribution because mm. they've gone. Yeah, spending's about one point two trillion. One point two trillion in their couple billion. Debt. It's not actually if we percentage number work it out. It's not. Bad. It's bad, but yeah, it's not yeah. like that's not as bad as some. It's not like an endless black hole. When you set, when you make it sound like it sounds yeah. like Star Trek, yeah. we're going to get sucked yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. The, I think the um, the concern is things like the capital gains tax. Uh, the, the the big problem people have with that. It's not just necessarily thinking about people can jump to capital gains tax, right? Landlords, mm. uh, but it's not not landlords and, and you know landlords don't necessarily need targeting either but i understand where they're coming from with it but but equally the capital gains tax that can that can really affect and stop innovation and growth in in m a activity merge and acquisition activity of companies buying and selling yeah um, and that really slows growth and on the other hand what we're hearing from them some of the rhetoric rhetoric is we're all about growth we want things to grow want business to grow you kind of you like, can't they, they contradict a little bit. You can't bit. grow without privatized businesses yeah, yeah. working hard, buying, selling, and investing in technology and people. Yeah, absolutely. And people, investing people. People, but yeah, if you jobs. don't have the yeah. money to employ more people, and it's going to be more painful Correct. to employ more yeah. people, then you're stopping the flow. Yeah, jobs. that's what's really sad. More people earn money, spend money, growth. Okay, that's- so not that we can predict what's going to happen with the budget sort of thing, but. What's a worst case scenario or a best case scenario? Ooh, that's an interesting one. Um, best case scenario, I think, is they uh, put it off till next year. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just don't that do is it. a real <laughs> doubt. Push it back. <laughs> yeah, just don't do it. Let's move on. <laughs> Got other stuff to do. Um, I think, yeah, no, I think best case scenario, I think for, for kind of, you know, I'm biased to our sector, I guess, and what we do for a living and the planning and investing side of things is to probably leave pensions alone. Um, I, I think best case scenario is that they do something with capital gains that's tied into the income tax side of things, perhaps mm. not as high as, as some are predicting. Uh, we know that uh, there's already, because uh, capital gains tax currently is lower than it has been historically. Yes. Um, so we know they can move back to that level without any huge infrastructure change. So I think that would be a bit of a win, bearing in mind we're expecting something worse. Um, so I think that would kind of make sense. Um, but equally, on the other hand, I am aware, that, uh, acutely aware of how little funding schools get and areas like that. So I think, you know, th- there's got to be a bit of give and take. And I think... They probably don't get enough um, from other sources at the ultra high yeah. net worth area, um, so they may look at that kind of area. Um, but I think they really should leave tax on, you know, leave entrepreneurs relief in place because um, that's a way of of, of, of businesses growing. Expanded, yeah. yeah, exactly, and, and have encouragement to yeah. to grow and to sell and to and, and 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 for business activity. So leaving that alone, I think, would be uh, really, really important. But I'm really interested to see how they square that circle of um, we need we need uh, we want growth, but we're going to increase cost and tax here, which seems anti-growth. That's the so things thing like, for to. example, on the back end, this may affect like or op- op- well, things with us. Like maybe there's an opportunity for a grant here to 
say, employ more people mm. or create new technology that's not there in the UK, but it is there in other countries, like mm. things like that, hopefully they don't mess up any of that. Yeah, there's stuff. quite a lot of that available at the moment. So yeah, I think that they're, they're good. Okay, they're probably- good. <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 it's <laughs> Grant. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Free money. Got to be excited. Um, <laughs> so th- <laughs> there's a lot of that available at the moment. So yeah, I think that would be... Uh, that would be harsh to kind of stop that. But again, you know, obviously it is, it is you rightly point out, it is a Labour government. So you would expect the a social aspect to kind of... Because my thing is... In terms of where the money goes, whatever they're raising. The mentality of Labour, good for working people. Well, if we don't get grants, we can't employ more working people. Yeah, no, true. That, yeah, as a yeah, really yeah. short yeah, version yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, the, the, it'd be interesting to see where they, you know, there's a lot, in fact, you make a good point, there's... Or, or raise a, a question there's a lot of talk about what they're going to do but there's not a lot of talk about what they're doing it for and where it's going to go if they're raising a lot more revenue yeah uh, what's being, it for through tax what are you doing about that where's it going in the education sector where's it going in the social sector uh, how you again how you're balancing that so we're not uh, don't become too much of a social state but equally we're supporting where we need to support mm. so that's yeah yeah that, i've not heard much about that actually so well, my always makes, thing is like, okay, if somebody's wanting to take money, what's the purpose of it? Let's take if something that's a very touchy subject. Let's take Sadiq Khan. Like, okay, you're going to play congestion charge and now you're at ULES. Well, I don't see any more trees being planted. Mm. Like, what's that? Where's the Where's money going? going? Like, yeah. what's yeah. happening? I would love to see X comes in, X goes out. Yeah, I actually don't know. And, and, and like, if yeah. you're taking, 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 okay, great. Because I assume How's that, it that's, help us? That, that's localized to or regionalized to London, I guess. If it's taking it within London, it should be. You'd more expect more guess. trees to be planted, or this, or that, or a greener yes. area. But yeah, then the yeah, irony well, is, well, as we travel, green strategy, oh, yeah. as yeah, we yeah. travelled around the UK, mm. certain areas like Portsmouth had their own little green eco area, mm. and then Manchester had um, theirs, but theirs was actually not in use because apparently that the statistics couldn't be put into place. They put signs over it, don't need to pay because it's not working. And it was like, <laughs> I've been really to pay in the other one. I've had well, no, I don't know. I told you to check. Have, no have, you, paid your, through, yeah. have you paid your dark charge? <laughs> uh, Both yeah. of them? No, you, I could only pay one because I left one over 24 hours. So unfortunately, I've got a fine there, which is. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God, Kurt. That's poor money management, Kurt. Money. Hey, hey, you did tell me two days after. No, well. I told you on the day. And I text <laughs> you on the day and I text you the day afterwards. So I think we should no. introduce, uh, like football clubs, a fine system. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you get fined, you also get fined by Fint. A yeah. Fint fine. Fint fine. Um, and it means a, uh, a, a mandatory contribution to Fint. Yes. Yes, yes. to your Fint That's account. fine by me. Yeah. There we go. I'm about, to, I'm about to create my disruptive technology portfolio as well. Well, there you go. Yeah. 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 That's a good start for it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So Double UK up. budget, again, wait, <laughs> see. Yeah. America, wait, see. Yeah, it is a little bit. Um, yeah, it is a little bit of that. I know a lot, uh, talk to, uh, we work with a lot of uh, lawyers, obviously, with, with, with what we do. And I know they've been absolutely frantic with a lot of businesses that have wanted to complete on business sales or acquisitions before the budget because of the capital gains tax. And one of the things situation. that made, really made me Which laugh. Which is awful. That awful. There's really Pain. kind of, I think is even harder for people. Seeing like simple things like bringing the stamp duty back down. So say mm. if you want to buy a house or you've saved up, yeah. And mm. suddenly it's going to cost you, uh, if you're buying a house, towards the threshold. Yeah. 455000 yeah. 000, That's going to cost you an extra 16000 on stamp duty just on top because they're bringing yeah. it down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, well, that's not helping the working person. No, it's going to slow activity as well. Slow activity, yeah. slow yeah. everything. If not, try and rush it through quickly. At the time before. where you're trying to regenerate it because of interest rates. Well, I'm like, like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's so yeah. counterintuitive to me. Yeah. I just don't get it. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough of my ranting. No, no, no. It's just I just don't get it. It's, it's just because, yeah, like, yeah, if yeah. you were really going to sit down and go through it with everybody in the room, and I, you know, I'd actually love this job. I'd love to be able to sit down there and work it out and be like, well, that doesn't certain things just don't make sense. Mm. Well, they were Donald Trump and a load of money by yourself into power. In, in fairness, <laughs> the one thing I would say is, uh, but I haven't heard much from him since. Is they have got, they should have, you know, really good advisors in there. So they did get James Timpson in, didn't they, from Timpson's, you know the cobbler's company oh yeah um they, he, he's aspect. an advi- he's an advisor to to government he's oh, a really? position in government it, yeah it was a couple of days after after and he's um he, he's a f- phenomenal guy he's done amazing stuff for um prisons and yes. um yeah, yeah, yeah. ex-convicts and stuff uh from a rehabilitation perspective um but they should have good business advisors in there that should be able to do that 
and it, you know, and saying, well, actually, this is the impact of that, the impact of this. The impact I remember of the, the first thing, one thing was change. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you, you yeah. spoke yeah. about yeah. slightly on the investment side, being that it actually brought you a step back because previously the the kind of investment into the UK, yeah, mm-hmm. that was then changed, yeah, and it was all actually you'd already put that element into the investing side. What was it? It was the um, oh, words got my brain now. In terms of portfolios? In or? terms of portfolios. It was the investment into the UK side and then they removed it. Oh, it was, went, um, you're thinking about the British ice, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that, that got scrapped, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I thought it didn't really... Yeah, so yeah, so there was this thing where, yeah, they were going to... Help investment into the UK businesses or exactly. in the sector. Yeah. It was yeah. like, well, yeah. you've but that's, just that's, shot yourself in the foot. That's changing government. Yeah. Yeah, was, that was a conservative idea and they're like, now Labour government that scrapped it. And you're like, yeah. well, we've yeah. already... Yeah, yeah, it yeah. people started thinking about it. Should we do this? Should Portfolios. we do that? But that, do you know what? That's a really good example of let's wait till they put it in place. Let's yes. wait. Yeah. And do you know what? That's the one thing I've learned 20 years of doing this. Um, and I've been guilty of making, you know, uh, trying to preempt or trying to be proactive or get ahead of things. You make mistakes, definitely. Sometimes you don't, and sometimes you do need to do it. Um, but ultimately, what I have found. More often than not, waiting or being patient and doing nothing actually is bet- is the better outcome. Okay, okay. Taking that into consideration then, we are here, Fint now, we want to spend money on developing the app. We want to spend time and in going into universities and talk to people to help educate people. Yeah. We want to do all these sort of things. So we're going to find out in the next couple of days like what's really happening what would we then hope in our aspect that's good for us obviously we spoke about grants you hope mm-hmm. that people aren't going to touch that so therefore there's opportunity to kind of help us grow quicker or maybe move faster yep. mm-hmm. but then like being able to get into the education system in schools mm-hmm. like yep. would they do something that could affect like okay say if we produce something for free and be like oh we can get sure, in that's like, a good, how yeah, could yeah, we yeah, do yeah. something like thinking about it right now how could we offer something for free off our back but get it implemented into the school system because we honestly feel like the education side it's, it's not changed yeah, yeah. forever and ever and ever yeah. um, we don't feel it it hasn't changed so, so I, I mean obviously that's what I'm saying it yeah, hasn't changed so how not, can we do something so, that because you, you, we used to always have that hour in once a week it was, and it was always like random. It wasn't like, oh, it was like a random hour to do certain things in school. And I was like, it was always wasted. But like that could be like 15 minutes of education and finance. Yeah. Well, I, I, obviously, you, as you know, we went to University Academy, UA92. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Set up in Manchester by the you know, Class of 92 guys. Was a great success, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, amazing, well, yeah. amazing success. But like the, the one thing that, I, the one comment I remember was from, from, um, one of the one of the students there. I think he was a third year student. So and he, he would be how old? He'd be. He'd be twenty one. Yep. Okay, yeah. Yep. Twenty one. Yeah. Um, and he he he, he said uh, this was kind of almost at the end of the the the, the presentation, which were about two hours each. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he he said that I've done business at GCSE level, A level, and now degree level, and and you're the first people to tell us this. And that was kind of about and your information the was habits, about the habits, the long term investing, investing and what patience. that can be for you. Yeah. yeah, and that was mind blowing to me. And you know, I'm I'm, I'm very very localized, very small insight into you know the, the the education side of things. Just being a governor of a primary school, and again, I don't profess to know anything about the curriculum um, and, and the way that kind of works. I know little bits from just being in the meetings, but. Um, I think that that's where the challenge is, is kind of how early and how can we get this conversation going? Because I know the difficult, diff, real difficulty schools have is funding, is money. Yeah, yeah. It's so difficult and so tight. So if so we said, okay, uh, the easiest thing is click and play, obviously, yeah, or have yeah. a, creating a game of some Depending sort, on the age, gamifying yes. it mm. and saying, okay, well, here is our case study. Yeah, yeah. We offer it for free. Mm. We help you educate on investing and longevity and compounding interest. It's very easy. You that. just literally create one little program or firm, or you can create three different ones depending on the age category. You've got your kindergartens, and you've got your secondary school, your university, and you just pump it out to every single school. They do one hour a month or whatever on it, and boom, it's the same thing sent to everyone. I think, I think what, in terms of doing it, and I know, we, I know we've, we've done 
we've touched on it and we're going to do more of it. I think ultimately you have to, I think it's outcome based. I think you need to start with the outcome. What outcome yeah. do you want? Like, and I really want, want people, um, young people to go into the world, the next stage out of education, knowing how things work. Yeah. Like no chance, unless they've got a certain level of insight, but there's no chance that anybody coming out of education at, at any level now under, knows exactly what goes on in that pay slip mm -hmm. when they get the first one, right? Yeah. Unless they've got, you know, they've done a job, part time job, and they've got to work it out themselves. They've got to work um, it out themselves. So you just said it exactly, yeah. and that's the point. I, just as an outcome base, that's got to be that's got to be better. Oh, yeah. We've got to do something more real about that. You know, algebra is good, but how often is that going to help you with a I've monthly never budget? Never use Pythagoras right? theorem. My 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 weirdest thing in school that I was always would always get me very OCD on, on certain things. Like I love doing my maths and mm. English was English and read a poem, whatever. But at the end of the day, like, why is it never problem solving? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it's like, but real world problem solving. Like yeah, something I, that actually I, I applies think, right. to what we do. Okay, let's just say it's science. Like how, like understanding why a dot leaf you get stung by nettle. I, why am I putting a dot leaf on? At least there's a reason for something I, I happening. Think, yeah. And I, the same with maths. Like, yeah, well... Yeah. Let's work. Let's work out like compound interest at two percent, at ten percent, at five percent. Yeah, yeah. At least it's real. It applies to the real world, not just about. I think you get that, corners. but it it only ever because I think you only ever start to get that when your education becomes elective, when you start to choose things. Mm, yes. and I, I think that's poor. I think we we could be doing better around how we get that into part of yeah, the, it's like an mandatory to side the whole of the UK. And, and and a lot of what happens in the UK now, which has happened for, for many years, is a, a, quite a bit of what's taught in schools. Um, I don't know if this is all schools, actually, because my, my, my knowledge is only kind of primary, I guess, in, in this element, is by third parties and outside. Yeah. Because the funding then can go towards mm -hmm. that because, again, time pressures of teachers. <coughs> so it's how, we, how can we look at that? Can that be done better? Yeah, can the can the government and the Department of Education be more uh, structured and prescriptive about that kind of thing? What what you what are the real life skills? You know, we're trying to deliver that through what we're doing. Can we not kind of support that with the education system? Well, and help we, with that, we definitely you know? can because we know it can be done better. Because and we that's did. the reason why we're yeah, doing exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. We did um, f uh, four sessions over four two hour sessions. Uh, in so eight eight two hour sessions over two days at that one one university. And I was showing you guys this morning the feedback, uh, yeah. anonymous feedback we got in terms of the key takeaways was um, was all about oh, need to start early, need to plan, uh, need to think long term, need to be patient. Um, when it comes to investing, that is one of the biggest. And things unfortunately, that never yeah. heard of any and of this before. And do you know before? what it shows? Yeah. Do you know what it shows, though? Which is, again, the reason that Fint exists is it shows how bloody smart that that group is mm. you know those, those those young adults they they you you if you explain something in a certain way and you know you demonstrate what that is for and, and what the potential is we've got, we've got an amazingly bright young adult population who can pick who will pick that up and do something with it and want to run with something yeah you know yeah. And we've seen them pick up and some have come through already and started using the app um Which and it's amazing guiding. yeah it's absolutely all the right the, yeah. the right real world yeah. level of yeah. information you yeah. know, anecdotal stuff and case study stuff is really important to le learn concepts. But I, I, I really think more of the real world educational side well, of it. Right, even investing comes to real life skills as well, because it's all about starting early and small increments create something yeah. massive yeah. at the end. Yeah. Whether that's in your job, what you do and you're investing, you're everything. And yeah. all in so the, the video we used in, in the presentation was, was the, the podcast when I guess you guys were doing a podcast with me in terms mm. of the, you know, the yeah. story and things. And, and we, we say something around kind of um, start early, start small, and be patient. Yeah. Um, and you know what? How often when we asked for what is your key takeaway, that was typed back to us. Yeah. And that, that's amazing because they were like, oh, that makes sense. But it really does. That's the thing. It's it, logical. It, it, it is yeah. logical. But unless you've been sometimes taught, sometimes the simple approach yeah, 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 yeah. seems too simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's so true. Is, is. And it all, it, it, you know, everything we spoke about there today, like different subject areas, there's a spine through all of it, or a bloodline through all of it, in terms of where where marks have been, what you invest for, which is to create create a future for yourself, or create options for you to do things you want to do, go, going through life. Um, 
we've got a budget coming up where they're talking about taxing this, taxing that, raising money for this, raising money for that. Where's the money going? Mm. Because ultimately we can make, we can answer question one by them doing the right things with, with kind of question three or four, I think. Yeah, and I think a lot of the generation just switched off because they're like, I've heard it all before. It's, it's not really... Engage, yeah. It's, people not, need to, yeah, it's just yeah. like everything's And maybe negative. it is that the, you know, we're talking about real world experiences. Maybe it is it's the real world, i.e. Yeah. us. Um, not Love Island, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't real world, I'll tell Reality you. Reality TV. <laughs> yeah, clues <laughs> in the name there. <laughs> but um, no, but seriously, taking, you know... Um, but it's crazy because the amount of people don't know anything about money and they come, yeah, that program, yeah, they come into yeah. a lump oh, sum and it causes such absolutely. problems. Unfortunately, yeah, there yeah, has been yeah. losses of life to it and stuff. Well, I put, people uh, don't understand Yeah, that. I put a post on LinkedIn the other, the other week and that was on the back of the, going out to the University of 92 and then also sitting sitting here with um, an elite athlete, a, football, mm. a professional footballer, who, who was kind of at that point of 31 saying, oh, probably got five or six years left bit worried i got nothing behind me yeah and just had, you know yeah. and i asked the question i've seen loads of people who wanted to sell me a pension but i've never seen anybody who wanted to explain why i'm doing it yeah what a cash flow you know what a financial plan is what yeah. cash flow forecasting is it was absolutely mind-blowing no, i remember i think you said something one time it was um, like most people think oh yeah i know my next contract's come my next contract will come yeah this and that but actually your last paycheck is when that contract's finished. You do not Absolutely. know another contract is Correct. going to come, so you need to prepare now for the future. That's, your, that's that your career. End, yeah. At that time, that's your career. Yeah. Yeah. So it's maximizing yeah. that period of time and those and those and that income and those earnings at that time to secure your future. And then all of a sudden, you create amazing habits. Yeah. Yeah. Because next time you get one, next time. And again, in fairness, you guys have been good at that, but that's, you know, you're in the minority. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Bad good advice. That's yeah. it. There you I go. want to yes. just jump back to one thing on the elections quickly. Not who do you want to win, who do you think will win? AJ. US election. US election. Um I think just pure social media and getting a younger following, I think Donald Trump will win. Like he's done every single young podcast he's done. He's actually got out there and talked to people. Whether it happens or doesn't happen, I don't think it's my opinion if it's right or wrong, but I think he'll win. When it comes to the podcast, he can talk a lot better there than no. But what Harris I'm saying is, can. what I'm saying is, as a PR, yeah, no, but he's, he's gone and done all yeah. the younger She's podcasts that people to, listen to. She just can't answer the questions as good as him. I don't feel. Do you know what? It's a good point that. So um, I'll answer it in a minute <laughs> 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 because I th I think you make a really valid point, and it's the same in in uh, any industry. What Donald Trump can do and does do very well, regardless of what you think about him as a human. Uh, or try not to think about him as a human, um, <laughs> is he can sell. Oh, yes. And he can yeah. certainly blink and sell himself. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, it would, no matter what industry you choose to go into, sector you go into, unless you can, you know, in inverted commas, sell or sell yourself or yeah. be able to put across what your qualities are, you're going to struggle. Mm. Um, and I think based on that, I, I, I do think he might win. I think he might win. I think he might win. I, I yeah. agree. I just, yeah. I, just, I just think as a pure PR item, like you can't deny what's been done there on the back end and mm -hmm. kind of seeing what his advantages are, what her mm -hmm. negative points are. He's mm -hmm. gone out there. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, uh, obviously, as we've spoke about opinion and polls and that, mm -hmm. how much you can and can't rely on them. And you, you nobody knows what the outcome's going to be until it happens. Um, but yeah, I think... The more people you speak to, the more chance you can change somebody's opinion. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if, if you've got to go and you've got to choose between two, what's, what are you thinking? And if you've heard more from an individual and obviously you need to associate yourself with what you've heard, then the likelihood is you're going to tick that box, right? Yeah, most probably, yeah. And that's, yeah. I think ultimately yeah. that's where uh, you might well just have the edge. Yeah. I think, it'd be a, I, th I think at this point now, from everything I've seen and heard, I think it'd be a surprise if he didn't. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way of uh, of kind of saying what how I feel about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a better November, yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, quick one just Budget before we week. end: uh, Do we think the Bank of England will drop their interest rate on the seventh of November a oh, little bit? That's a because good obviously question. America have done yeah, their little yeah, bits, yeah. and it would it would be silly for us not to drop. Well, I think point first and five. foremost, I do get frustrated with people who say, "Well, we will," because America has. We're two different economies. Doesn't yeah. matter. Having said that. 
Um, <laughs> no, I think I think in terms of interest, inflation does look like it's kind of you know towards target or on target. Yeah. Um, I think you know we've had a couple of little bits of data that have come through that might be contrary to that, but ultimately I think it's going in the right direction. And I think if we didn't cut this next time, I do think it may be a mistake. Because yeah. then if all of a sudden inflation falls off a cliff, then there'd be a might be a bit of a panic and a bit of a worry about inflation being too high and growth and all that kind of stuff. Because you can't really then do a double. Then no, be like I think the most common sense thing would be is to just do a 25 basis point cut uh, to be going in the right direction. It's not too much, not too little. I think that's the way they'll go. Yeah. 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 And I think that's priced in, to be honest, from a market's perspective. Yeah. Yeah. I think the same for the Fed, in fairness, in the US. Next time they meet, then they're priced in. And I think, also think, I think in the US stock market, in terms of where it might go next, because October is normally a bad month and it hasn't been. Um, and November to kind of Jan, Feb is normally very, very good. And we haven't really had a horror, horror month. Uh, August wasn't pretty, but we haven't had a horror month that we normally have. I do think a Trump win is actually priced in to US market. Yeah, because um, everybody's been yeah. so, terms, so much. Yeah, so if, you know, we're talking about the impact of it. Yeah. I do think that's probably priced in. Okay. Um, so I don't think either way there would it's be too much really negative difference. kind of impact on markets. Yeah. Let's wrap it up there before we get into something else. Yeah. There we go. I do have to say, Peloton. So keep is, invested. It, I know you sold out. It I did. Is, up. <laughs> is it? It is Damn up again. It. I got my money back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do have to. I do have to. We're just joking around on that. Oh, very good. That's good stuff. Done. It's, That's I keep good an eye on it, and it is up. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> 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 good stuff on that note yeah thank you very much and um, we will be back next time um, after an election after budget after, after budget after, after election yeah. there'll be a lot to talk about next time yeah. that's for sure we'll yeah. be correcting what we said or not yeah, we'll and I'll be 30 yeah. oh my god yeah yeah Don't stop, rock the block, cause once we get started, then we just can't stop. And when you see the Lamborghini, then you know what's up. Because cheap is cheap and the target's target.